Swinburne University of Technology. In this video we are going to look at the R command prompt. So here we are, we're in just the basic version of R and you can see we have a command prompt. So in order to get R to do anything we have to type in some commands and tell it what to do. So if, if we had the need, R can just be a basic calculator so we can type in a sum and it'll do that calculation uh, but it's not really useful to us. What we need to do is start looking at various different commands, how we can make things and so on. So one really useful thing for us to know is how to be able to assign values. So let's suppose I wanted to make a um, an object called x and put the value of 90 into it. Then I could use a little arrow. Uh, for the most part an equal sign works as well, uh, but there is the odd time where you're doing something more complex where the equal sign can get you into trouble. Um, so we could say x equals 90, we'll do the same thing. Um, but certainly you're less likely to get yourself into trouble uh, by using the little arrow assignment instead. If we type the name of an object, so let's type x, and we can see that x currently has the value of 90. Uh, I can store vectors as well, so it doesn't just have to be a single number. I might uh, decide that instead I want x to contain the numbers from 1 to 10. And a nice shortcut to be able to do a series of numbers is the colon. So 1 colon 10 is going to give me the numbers from 1 to 10. So x now has the numbers 1 to 10 inside it. I can manipulate x as well, so I might make a new new vector called y, and y is 2 times x. And so when we look at y we can see that each value has been multiplied by 2. If I want to refer to a particular point inside my vector, say I want to look at the third item, then I can use square brackets. So square brackets denote a position within a vector. So if I go y and I have square brackets 3, it's saying show me the third item, and the third item in y is the value 6. I can even do assignments inside my vector, so maybe I want to change this and instead of uh, the third value being 6, then maybe I want to make it 5. And so let's look inside y and you can see that I've now changed the third item in that vector from a 6 to a 5. Okay, another way we can make vectors is by using a function uh, which is the little letter c. And so If I have C and inside the round brackets I have some items separated by commas, then that will concatenate them all together. So you can see I've made Y into 1, 2, 3. I can do this with text as well. Whenever I'm entering text, I um, need to have some speech marks around it so that R knows that it is text. And so you can see that now I've made a vector with the words 1, 2, 3 instead. This has been a Swinburne production.